Good morning. Today I want to talk about uh, some of the um, events that have happened in our country in the past uh, few years. And uh, you know how Trump is uh, governing this administration from 2016. And uh, you know and he's uh, going to be the president for the next elections or the next cycle, the next four years as well. That's what my feeling is. And the reason for that is Americans are, uh, are really fed up with uh, having people like uh, Barack Obama and uh, George W. Bush uh, Jr. George W. Bush probably is the worst president that has ever, um, you know, come to power in our country, in this great country. You know, it's unimaginable that, uh, you know, a, a guy like uh, George W. Bush can actually uh, become a president of a, you know, a country like U.S. You know, he cannot even run probably a McDonald's uh, place. You know, he's that kind of a guy. And so is uh, Barack Obama. And uh, this uh, 16 years of, uh, you know, uh, these two idiots, has uh, completely destroyed uh, this great country. That destruction has happened from many fronts. George W. Bush unnecessarily, he went and uh, disturbed the uh, peace in the Middle East, uh, primarily by uh, launching his uh, stupid war against Iraq, not uh, sufficing or not uh, containing himself to a battle in Afghanistan or you know, a few battles in Afghanistan to destroy the enemy mainly the Al-Qaeda and uh, Taliban. Instead, he went and, uh, you know, damaged uh, a, a stable country of uh, Iraq. Though it has a dictator, and so is Saudi Arabia, and we are friends with Saudi Arabia, but, you know, we are enemy with uh, Iraq. That makes no sense at all. And also, we are uh, uh, supporting indirectly other dictators in many other countries. And uh, that is not uh, tenable at all. And uh, what happened uh, with the disturbance of uh, Iraq is that, um, you know, all the uh, Islamists, all the terrorists from uh, this part of the world, they started spreading out to Europe and they actually started uh, damaging the entire uh, globe. That's what happened during George uh, W. Bush's time uh, when all the trouble has started happening, uh, you know, like the northern part of uh, Iraq and uh, the uh, the western part, you know, the eastern part of Syria, you know, that's where all the trouble has started. And uh, Barack Obama, because this guy, you know, Barack Obama is an idiot, and he doesn't know what is happening there, and he continued with the previous uh, regime's policies, and, uh, you know, that has caused him more trouble, and he never really took action to contain these terrorists, uh, or this, uh, this, you know, this crime, or this uh, cancer called Islam spreading out of this Middle East. And because, you know, he didn't uh, take any action, uh, this cancer called Islam has started spreading out, you know, beyond the shores of the Middle East, or the, beyond the deserts of uh, Middle East. And, uh, you know, he did not even contain uh, Turkey. You know, Turkey is responsible for, uh, you know, spearheading, financing, and uh, also supporting uh, this uh, migration of these uh, terrorists across uh, Europe. And that should have been uh, contained a long time ago. And, uh, you know, Barack Obama has not done anything. So uh, these uh, eight years of George W. Bush and uh, the eight years of uh, Barack Obama has, uh, you know, caused so much of uh, uh, destruction of the world and, uh, you know, primarily the U.S., you know. Other idiotic things these two presidents have done is, you know, giving away our $2 trillion of money to China. And what is China? China is an enemy country and China is a communist country and China is uh, against the US and China is not a favorable country and they were given the most favorable nation status in terms of the imports and we gave away our technology, we gave away our money and we have, uh, you know, imported their uh, uh, students or, you know, the, the, the spies in the a garb of students and we allowed them to invade our universities in US and we taught them our uh, technology, you know, technical education 
and we gave them you know hands you know handouts uh, for uh, doing research here you know with our money and with our finance and our universities our our uh, funding they learned uh, you know the technology and the you know the advanced technologies in our universities and they took it back to china and they started uh, using that to damage this country called usa this is what happened during uh, barack obama's time of course starting with the george w bush that's when you know all this uh, you know the special trading status has uh, uh, started evolving into a much larger scale uh, because you know the the iphone you know the technology of uh, uh, the iphone you know basically the mobile technologies and other technologies have been uh, uh, given away for free not only for uh, for free but also not only the technology but also our money was given away to china i think unless uh, this is completely uh, you know curtailed you know zero dollars to china and zero technology to china should be the policy and that's where uh, trump is heading uh, i guess and i hope that he heads and uh, so the two biggest threats that are facing the world and facing uh, you know the us uh, primarily uh, are facing the free world and free, you know democratic countries like india israel uh, america and uh, britain is uh, islam and china these two have to be contained and uh, so we should not allow any of these uh, democrats to come back to power at all in this country and uh, you know i am a registered democrat but you know i have uh, um, voted for uh, donald trump not only that i voted for trump but also i campaigned for him and i went to his uh, you know trump tower during the year 2016 elections and campaigned for him and i lost uh, you know all my friends because of that because you know all of them said hey no are you are you stupid are you mad you know how are you uh, campaigning for trump he's a white supremacist and this and that you know because i believe that you know this country needs a person like uh, you know donald trump that's the reason uh, why i went there and this country cannot afford another barack obama and it cannot afford another george w bush that's why we need people like trump who is taking a stand and who is doing all the great things and uh, hopefully he is going to be our next uh, president so these are my few thoughts and hopefully you know you enjoyed this and we'll meet again next time